Chai, Yong Mi is my name, and I am from Seoul, South Korea. I have been running a project space called Discurs Berlin since 2016. Besides my activities as a curator, I published art-related columns for the monthly art magazine Walgan Missile, South Korea. Discurs means discourse in English. So, as the name of the space confesses, I mainly focus on the discursive matter which raises questions and investigates current phenomena. As the world gets smaller in terms of exchanging information via the internet and sharing events around the globe, retaining distinctive culture is no more the case in most industrial countries. One could still observe that specific regions have some distinguishing characteristics, but I can watch more and more resembling methods of certain perceptions in the art world. I think it is more about generation matters, social circumstances etc., that impact each other more intensively than the geographical and cultural differences. I saw a group of young Chinese in the central train station of Pyongyang, North Korea, who looked like any teens in the world. I remember the time online banking, shopping, and social networks with no physical substance were regarded as something for computer nerds. Today, we are surrounded by all kinds of digital digits and methods. Whether we like it or not, we live in a data-driven world, and the process of digitization changes the shape of our lives profoundly. One could see these movements in the art world, too. NFT is no more a bizarre thing, and the perception of metaverse and NFTs are making the headlines nowadays. We are confronted with parallel worlds of physical and digital beings. Films like Her, Transcendence, or Arrival show different levels of the world in which we are living. The principle of art would stay, but the interpretation of the methodic will change a lot. That excites me, and I find myself also in this transition state.